What is up you guys? I'm coming at you with another makeup tutorial today and we're going to do a simple winter look, something that you can wear every day. I'm going to start that off with some moisturizing base, the Aqua Primer Base by Makeup Revolution and then we're going to top that off with some cream around our eyes. Um, I'm using the Tarte cream today. So some added moisture today, um, I decided to add my Smashbox Primer Oil with my foundation. So you're going to see me here mix this on the back of my hand and um, get it nice and creamy. And then we're going to apply the foundation with a Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M444 brush. And we're going to stipple that into the skin, smear the foundation around really good, and then go back and really pack that foundation into the skin so you have some coverage. But yet it's creamy. Uh, it glistens. It has that glow and looks more natural for an everyday look. we've got that smooth glowing base we're going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me concealer we're going to use that to conceal underneath the eyes down the nose and the cupid's bow the chin and the middle of the forehead area To pack in that concealer and get those areas nice and covered, we're going to use our Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. This sponge is perfect, and I love the fact that it has two different sides, two different angles to go at it with. Um, this bottom flat side works really well for especially concealing underneath the eye area and putting the powder pat down in that area. And as you can see, I'm using the Ulta Beauty um, Luminous powder underneath the eyes and the areas we concealed and then we'll go back into that powder and use the translucent powder with a fluffy Morphe brush to blend the rest of the powder in and set all of the foundation. Now I'm going to go into my newly purchased Makeup Revolution palette. Um, this is an eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use the purplish color shade, actually the name of the shade is called Hope. It's just a light purplish shade and I'm going to use the Morphe RG18 brush just to pack the shadow into the entire lid space and blending out the crease area just to give the eye some definition. Going to go back into that palette using the color cashmere and we're going to use a 
um, liner brush by Morphe to pack that liner color underneath the eyelid, the bottom lash line. What am I talking about? This brush is the M560 brush by Morphe. ice cloud shade from the same palette and just kind of cleaned up that liner to make it a little bit more smooth and also to highlight the inner corners of the eye. using the super cute eyelash curler that I got from Ulta Beauty in a little gift set with the lash curler and the mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to pop on that same mascara from that little gift set and coat it up about two or three coats, especially concentrating at the base of the eyelid to give them lots of volume. Somehow lost the footage, but I used the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals and the Morphe M528 brush to highlight the cheekbones and the nose and the cupid's bow areas, along with the tops of my brow bone. Then I took my new Tarte blush that I got from an Ipsy bag and placed that onto my lips to give them a nice coat um, to keep that lipstick in place and. Watch what happens when I add the NYX Butter Gloss on the top. It makes such a beautiful, um, glistening, pinky, frost-type shade, perfect for a winter, everyday makeup look.